I'm gonna tell you guys the common ways that you'll get smoked in base training, so stay tuned for more. This smoke is gonna be inevitable. You won't get smoked either way. Maybe you might be good, but somebody in your in your platoon or other platoon not gonna watch this video or not gonna know any better and they're gonna make these mistakes. So how I'm gonna do this video, I'm gonna do it pretty simple. So like at the beginning, the first two, the first one I'm gonna do is the common way people get smoked at the beginning of base training. And then the next point I'm gonna do is the common way you'll get smoked on the back end of base training. And then the rest of them I'm gonna say that are very common throughout the whole process of base training. And then if I got any other ones top of my mind, I'll just say it and explain like what to do and what happens. Or, or I might make a part two, I don't know yet. That's depending on how this video kind of flows. So without further ado, let's get to it. A so, common way people get smoked at the beginning of base training is not knowing knowledge. So it's gonna be a combination of a lot of things. So say for example, how you address a drill sergeant. That's probably the most common way within that knowledge. So you can be like, you can just say a statement, hey, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go over here, but you don't tap a drill sergeant at the end of it. Or if they say, they ask you a question or make a statement that you need to uh, say yes or no to, you might say yes, but you won't say yes, drill sergeant, or no, drill sergeant. Or, this is not really as common, but it does happen, not talk to officer, like you might stop, say ma'am, because sometimes you may not even like, see officers like that, so you might just see them and may not even like think to say sir, or ma'am or like that, but that's like a common way. That's not really as common, but may, the biggest ones is probably uh, not dressing a drill sergeant as drill sergeant, or if you start talking, you don't tap a drill sergeant at the end. When it comes to not knowing your information, one of the biggest things that made me nervous, I'm not gonna lie to you, was when you go to the child line or the defect, like you get high A's and then that you standing in line, moving up, you know, and then literally like they'll start asking you a question or like, you know, the common way they'll ask, they'll be like, What's the what's the weight of an M4 uh M4 carbine or something? You'll be like, I don't know, because it's such a random question to ask, especially out the blue, seeing back in the line or make you do push-ups or something like that. The common way people get smoked on the back end of base training is being too friendly. And this can be a weird thing to say because you might say, What you mean too friendly? Um at the back end of the base training, most of the drill sergeants become a lot more lax and but that doesn't make no excuses to still, you gotta still keep your military bearing because a lot of times like, drill sergeants are pretty weird. Cause one minute they'll come in real jokey jokey, friendly, and then next day, hell not even the next day, probably the next time you see them, all of a sudden they in a bad mood, now they wanna be super serious, and then most of the people that's in your company are mostly gonna be young. So they, a lot of times like, they're not really keen on social interaction. So if you come in playful, they gonna stay playful the whole day. So when you wanna get serious, they may have lack of urgency. They may, um, like I said, like I said in the other one, they may not address you a drill sergeant. They may uh, not have it. They might get lackadaisical. They might not move with a sense of purpose, sense of urgency. And that time, that'll most time that'll be get that more more than likely most time that will get the company smoke doing that eight times out of ten because that's you you like kind of saying like you don't take them seriously. But it's weird because sometimes how they come at you, they'll come at you like your friends. But remember, drill sergeants are not your friends, no matter how cool they are with you, because they can be really moody. So typically, a lot of times, people will get in trouble for not having a battle buddy pair. And it may be obvious, like, oh yeah, of course, like after it's installed. But it can be like a simple thing that can get you smoked on that. So say, for example, your camelback is empty. And you're like, dang, I gotta go feel my camelback. Let me go right quick to the water buffalo. You will just run over there, and you might get caught by a drill sergeant, and they might smoke you or something like that. Or they might, they might, sometimes they wanna be petty, they might just leave you over there and say lay on the ground and it's simulated that you did and I'm not gonna say nothing. And we are gonna see if you accounted for by your platoon. And sometimes they be like, where was such and such at? And you can see her, see him or her just laying there and then y'all all get smoked like, whoa, who knew that? What's your name was going, blah, 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 blah. And they'll smoke everybody for that. Or another way that's pretty common, people get smoked for us and uh, not, not having a battle buddy pair is Say a drill sergeant call you, and they say you like say moving drill sergeant, <coughs> moving drill sergeant, and you'll run over there, but you'll forget to get a battle, or your battle don't look out for you and follow you, and they'll just be like where your battle buddy at, and then they'll make you drop, like do a little push up. Or another way you get smoked for not having a battle buddy pair, you can be in your bay, and the drill sergeant be in the room, in they um in their little office or whatever, and you gotta ask, ask a question. So you'll go over there not thinking nothing of it, you knock on the door, or not even knock on the door, that's even worse too. And you say, hey drill sergeant, and then they'll look, where your battle buddy at? And then they'll make you do push-ups real quick. Sleeping in barracks, 
is a common way people get smoked. And you might be like, oh, of course you can't sleep in the barracks. But, man, I'm not going to lie. You get so much downtime, especially on the back end of basic. It's like, what else can you do type deal? Like, this is more on the back end. So, my platoon, my company, my platoon or whatever, actually my bay, I don't know why I said platoon, my bay is, is, was very small. Well, we didn't have a big bay, so we only had four people in our bay. And typically, bays can have like 60, 70, 80 people in there. So, we had a lot of empty beds. So, typically, of course, when you wake up, you got to make your bed, stuff like that. But if you're sleeping during the day, you don't want to have to remake your bed and all that stuff. So, you'll sleep in another person, an empty bed. So... The thing about it where it sucks because like sometimes like you be kind of like doing your own thing, it's downtime, whatever, and you're not even thinking about the next person that's all the way in the back knocked out. We not need to keep them out. So a drill sergeant might come in, a random one, or just the, our main, your main drill sergeant might come in, see them in the back knocked out, and we all get smoked. I think we got smoked more as a uh, as a bait or a mass smoking was from sleeping in the barracks. So we try to finagle it, which we work it worked, but like. So what we did was we took our sleeping bags and we put them on the floor and then we'll sleep in that because they say you can't sleep in beds. So technically you can't, they ain't say we can't sleep on the floor. So we, or we'll either get our yoga mat and we'll use the roller and that could be our pillow or you might use your rucksack or whatever. If you have like a small rucksack, that can be your pillow. So typically that's how people finesse it. But they, you really got in trouble for that unless the drill sergeant was real moody. And if stuff not getting done, they might go in and be like, oh, y'all want to sleep, blah, 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 blah. But normally, that was kind of common. With, and I heard in other companies, like, having a sleeping bag and all that stuff, they didn't really let that happen. So, tread lightly with that with that scenario. But sleeping in bears definitely was very common. Because I was there. Another way people get smoked is fire guard. So, a lot of things with fire guard. Fire guard is pretty much, if you don't know, is at the end, of, like, when lights out hits, um, you get to watch the bay. Ooh, wow, watch everybody sleep. So everybody have like a little rotation. You probably watch it for like an hour or two hours, depending on how y'all, how big y'all be is. And then y'all have like a little rotation, ske rotated schedule that y'all make or whatever. And that seems pretty easy. But imagine if you got that fire guard at three o'clock in the morning. So you knocked out sound asleep. And then, hey, you gotta wake up. You gotta watch the, you gotta watch the sleep for an hour. And a lot of times, like not always, and this kind of sucks because this is something that you can't control because one person might be, you might get that one knucklehead that might go to sleep during fire guard, which is not uncommon because you can be sitting there and it gets so boring and most likely they'll tell you you got like little rolls of sign like, hey, at 12 o'clock, you got to mop the floor. More than likely, after the first couple weeks, y'all not going to be doing nothing. Nine times out of ten, unless y'all get like kind of like chewed out for it uh at the beginning of the morning but more than likely y'all not gonna do it this being this real y'all just gonna be sitting there at the desk just looking at everybody else walk, walking around and how how you get caught slipping because all of a sudden the eyelids get heavy like this and how it works is you have also staff duty so staff duty is like when the actual cadre or um like drill sergeants uh walk around and they do a personal check on y'all make sure y'all doing what y'all supposed to do make sure they got accountability so a lot of times you could be knocked out, the drill sergeant will walk in, and then you kind of like, what's going on? <clears throat> and then you end up getting smoked. But here's where it gets weird because like, when you do fire guard, it can be anybody that does fire, uh, staff duty. It can be a your company commander can be the, be on it. It can be a first sergeant. It can be another first sergeant. It can be drill sergeant, senior drill sergeant. It can be a mix of everybody. So <clears throat> a lot of times that what people get caught slipping is a couple ways they'll end up not being in the right uniform. So, a lot of times, like, you eat, sometimes, like, my company was real lax, so long as you, the you in your battle is having the same type of uniform, y'all usually good. So, if y'all want to wear summers, y'all wear summers. If y'all want to wear uh, uh, full winters, wear full winters. If y'all want to wear o OCPs, OCPs. Or, a lot of times, like, other drill sergeants might say, y'all got to wear OCPs when y'all do fire guard. But, it kind of mixed, but a lot of times some people don't be in a rock right, right uniform, so they might wear their OCPs, but they might have on their shower shoes, or they might have like their summers, and then they might be at a, a non authorized uniform. So when the drill sergeant come in and see y'all looking crazy, they'll they'll either tell the drill sergeant that um over the platoon and y'all get smoked the next day, 
Or in some cases, which I never experienced personally, they might flip the lights on and start smoking everybody. I seen, I heard that happen before, and that's not in my platoon. So that's a low key. People don't think about fire guard that you get smoked pretty often in that more than you think. Another common way to get smoked in base trader, and I got trouble for this too, but I didn't get smoked for it. I got yelled at. <clears throat> is talking with your hands. So you see me doing this right here. Don't do that when you talk to drill sergeant or anybody of authority or higher rank than you. Uh, talking, talking um, at ease. If you're talking to a drill sergeant, make sure that you stand at ease. And you ask me personally, oh, why can't we talk with our hands? Because we talk with our hands naturally. Everybody else talks with their hands. I personally can't give you the reason. Maybe if this video blows up, and somebody can probably explain to you in the comments why you can't talk with your hands, other than saying like it's supposed to. You're supposed to be at ease. I don't know the reason. I don't know. Don't ask me as the Army History uh, Austria <laughs> Encyclopedia or something. I don't know. So a lot of times, like if you're explaining yourself or they ask you a question, sometimes you want to be very um, visual. So you might say, hey, this guy over here or this person over here or this right here. And it's weird sometimes if you've been talking with your hands all this time and then you got to snap in the position of attention like this and then you got to explain something in depth, it's kind of hard. Sometimes you do like this or you'll move around and stuff like that, you'll get smoked for that um, a lot of times. Or especially, especially when you're at a system of tension, since you your hands at the side, it's easy to do this. It's easy to move your hands around. So just be cognizant of um, make sure you're not talking with your hands, even though it's actually harder than you think. A lot of people do talk with their hands when they um, talk with a drill sergeant. And if you've got something to say, make sure you really think about it and like try to stay it in the most concise way possible so you don't, have to, you don't feel like you um, overly explain yourself where you have to move your hands and stuff like that. Um, another common way to get smoked in base training, this is more uh, on the appearance side, and I say like shaving. So if you're not in regs, or a lot of times you might have like little, um, might have little fuzzies, stuff like that. That's kind of more like, if you, certain drill sergeants might be picky on that. Um, a lot of times, females, I've never really had issues seeing females too much get smoked for uh, appearance, maybe in their bay, but I ever, I never seen them get public get smoked. Sometimes girls will have like crazy hairstyles that they might get checked on it, but I've never seen them directly get smoked from it. But they normally, um, they might get in the bay. I don't know, you gotta ask a female um, training about that. But common ways that I see people get smoked is not being shaved. Um, another way is not having your profile paper paperwork. Uh, I've seen that happen a few times. So say if you had a shaving profile, you don't have that paperwork on you. This normally typically when you're dressing like <clears throat> drills are from a different company and you might have like a full beard or like you might have like a goatee or something and they might be looking at you like, hmm, where your paperwork at? And then they, you may not have it and then you might get smoked by them. But that's not really too common. But a common way is not having your profile stuff. So you might have a profile, um, injury profile or something like that where they'll say you can't do this. But some drill sergeant may not trip on you like that if you don't have your profile. Like if you got something serious where you can't like do stuff, they may not track you, but sometimes some drill sergeants will sometimes press you about that, not having your uh, your profile slips. It's not as common, but it does happen uh, quite a bit. But the shame one definitely happens quite often if you ain't looking shaved and you they know you don't have a profile with you. Uh, the next one is, I would say, PCCIs. So that's pretty much just having your gear on you. And the reason why I say that, it's kind of a combination of multiple things. So when they kind of personally inspect you and stuff like that, you may not have your gear, and you may not get smoked necessarily for not having certain gears. So, so obviously like the mandatory stuff, like say you need a tarp or something like that, all right, cool. But what typically happens is, is when you do PCI and you realize, dang, I'm missing this, <clears throat> a lot of times you end up having a rely on a battle or something like that, hey, go upstairs with me. And usually that leads to people being running late or they having to wait on you for formation, the drill sergeant be like, where's such and such at? And then the, the P, maybe the uh, platoon sergeant may not know, the PG may not even know where you at. So it can cause a lot of issues when you not you don't have all your gear and you might go off to your bay to go get whatever you're missing or whatever, whatever, and no one knows what you're not accounted for or you might be running late or you may not, or you come downstairs late, you have your stuff and everybody waiting on you, but guess what, if the drill sergeant waiting on you, they probably in push up position saying, waiting on you. Waiting on you, waiting on you. And then you come down with your stuff and then they all smoke in the front lean rest or whatever like that. So I've seen that happen. So if you do, make sure you have your PC, make sure you have all your gear, but that's another way people don't think about that. People get smoked on. Another common way, and it's very underrated, and it's also, this is when drill sergeants get real petty, is your demeanor. So this can be including like your facial expressions, um, how you kind of carry yourself, 
um, like your this overall like moxie, how you standing, how you kind of holding your chest up, looking confident, not confident. So a drill sergeant will press you both ways, even when you're being too serious or when you too goofy. So facial expression could be involved like, hey, if drill sergeant say something, you start smirking, you start smiling, or even if you're laughing when you're not supposed to, or the drill sergeant really pressing people and you looking like you want to fight. You can get smoked like that. Also your demeanor. So say you stand in parade rest or position of attention or whatever, and they can just you can be slouching, you can be like moving around, like your demeanor, like you don't wanna be there. The main way to get smoked in your base training is not calling that ease. Not calling position of attention. Those like the that's the number one. We actually I actually was a bookie. I explained this in another video where we count how many times people got smoked in base training. So the common way people racked up their numbers and get the smoke, we did this on the back end, not the beginning, was calling at ease, like when there's another drill sergeant present. Uh, when a drill sergeant walks in, is in the room, but a first sergeant come in, but no one say first sergeant, they may not even see him because CT built so big. Um, maybe if a, maybe not a company commander, because you might know your company commander, but uh, say a first lieutenant walked by and you didn't see him, and, but he's trying to hide, not trying to be noticed. And the drill sergeant to see him. Oh, y'all not call position up? Y'all not call company attention? And then they'll smoke everybody. That's when you get mass smoked on. I ain't gonna lie to you. But, or even if you walk into the bay, uh, it could be in the bay or something like that. A drill sergeant could walk in and you'll call, and you forget the dr your drill sergeant is left. And then you, you forget to call uh, uh, at ease and stuff like that. And they'll smoke everybody. Uh, that was kind of a, that's kind of a very common way of. Um, the most common way to get smoked across the board is not calling at ease. So this could be a combination of a lot of things. So you can, uh, a drill sergeant might still be present, for example, in the, in the CT building or in the compound. One might walk out of the building, you might not see, forget the drill sergeant was even over there because he worked with his platoon, you might call it ease, bam, you get smoked. Or you can be like in a situation where a uh, first lieutenant might go, it may not be with a company commander, but when the first two to come, he normally trying to avoid to be seen, so he might walk all the way around to go to his office or whatever. And a drill sergeant might see him walk, but you may not notice, and he might say, "Oh, y'all not gonna say, come, come, me attention to the officer right here, everybody, brother, rest is in, move, and stuff like that." But you may, he's trying to be avoided, but it kind of happened. Or if y'all in the bay, y'all just chilling and not really like paying attention, and y'all forget that y'all drill sergeant left, a uh, drill sergeant walk in, y'all might forget to say competition like uh, uh, e at ease off the gate and you might have one of those stickler drill sergeant that say oh y'all not gonna say call at ease for a drill sergeant huh wait is no drill sergeant here oh this is attention move all that stuff and you don't want you don't want to have that smoke but that's probably the number one way or also you can be in the um you can be sitting there the drill sergeant be at the door and they might be playing with you and open the door and they may not step on the footprint and you end up calling the east too soon or they might mess, they'll mess with, drill sergeant will mess with you like that a, a lot. But at ease is probably the number one way you'll get smoked in base training. From the beginning of base training all the way to the end. That's no brainer. Uh, let me know what you guys think um, about the uh, ways to get smoked. And if y'all can think of any other scenarios that are common ways to get smoked, put in the comments below. Uh, hit the subscribe button and I'm out. Go on.